Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update on this Christmas morning and Merry Christmas to everybody out there and just so thankful uh, to everybody who tunes in here from time to time and watches these videos. Um, let me just go right into the, uh, the bullet points and still looking like a really significant period between 1226 and 1230 for a number of locations and feet of accumulation on the way for parts of the Pacific Northwest, BC, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Utah, specifically the Wasatch, the Hyuenas, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Um, so I'll be detailing that pretty specifically coming up, but it's going to be a colder period with a lower rain snow line, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Now in the northeast, still looking at a significant rain snow problem. In fact, this morning, I'm only forecasting rain. Um, for the major ski areas, 1229 and 1230. So that's going to eat up a lot of the precipitation, um, unfortunately. Okay, let's just uh, look at this. Christmas morning, here we go. It is a powder morning, a low powder morning, um, but at least there's powder. This is uh, Alta reporting a few inches of new snow. Um, so enjoy that today. Here's Solitude. You can see it is still snowing there uh, up at Sunshine Bowl reporting at least a few inches of new snow. So yeah, I guess it is powder. It is a powder morning. Enjoy that, guys, on this Christmas morning. Here's radar across the west. couple of things to mention. Storm system. This is our Christmas Eve, Christmas Day storm we've been talking about for so many days. Sliding through Utah, Idaho. It's heading towards the Tetons. You've got snow busting out in Colorado, um, and you've got another storm system um, moving on shore in the Pacific Northwest. Let me take you closer. Here's your snow across Salt Lake. There it is, uh, hitting the, uh, the Wasatch Front and the High Uintas. All this will eventually have to rotate through Colorado as well. Colorado, you got the front end of all this, a little bit of precip, potentially, although the air is pretty dry, across Denver. And then you've got snow. The radar just can't see it, but it's developing across the western slope and will eventually move across all of the central and northern mountain corridor. Um, so, yeah, we're going to look at all that. Here is, let me just set the table. Here is the water vapor satellite imagery, low levels. So drier air at the low levels is in the oranges and the reds. All your moisture, and here's our, here's our Christmas Eve, Christmas Day storm. That's the front. You can see the area of low pressure right here. Um, big one behind it. This is what uh, is really going to produce, I mean, and folks, you can see this. You can see, look at all this. Look at all of this moisture right here. The leading edge, this is what's really going to fire off this pattern between 1226 and 1230 for a lot of the West. As soon as that moves on, on sure, we're going to be in it. Um, okay, let me just show you my timeline, best odds of snow um, you know, for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. So in the Wasatch, you've got light to moderate snow continuing this morning, and then it's going to dry out. It's going to cut off. Um, and I'll drill down on Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, Brighton here in just a second. But... Um, and then your heaviest period is 1226 through 1229. In the Tetons light today, I showed you that on radar, it's moving in. And then your heavy period is 1226 through 1229 also. And I've got at least three feet of snow for Jackson Hole, maybe even four feet on top of the Grand Teton. Um, in Colorado light today, and then it's moderate to heavy, that's probably your best period, 1226, 1227, and then light to moderate, 1229 and 1230. Um, interior BC is looking really good. You've got uh, light today, moderate 26, and then heavy 27, 28, 20, I mean, it goes all the way through the third for a lot of interior BC. Okay, here we go. Let me show you the forecast mediagram. This is for Alta, Utah at about 9,000 feet. So here we are, Christmas Day. This is the 25th. There's a 26, 27, 28. So a little bit of leftover snow here this morning, maybe another inch, maybe another two inches, in fact. This is indicating at least another couple of inches. Then you've got some more snow. Next storm system coming in, 26, 27, 28, and continues off this chart through the 28 into the 29. Through this time period alone, three feet of snow on this particular model. You can see the winds today gusting to about 30. Uh, and then with the larger storm system, the rich moisture flow and the jet support that comes in 26, 27, 28. The winds are going to be gusting 30, 35, 40 pretty much during the entire event. Uh, high temps today at 9,000. They start early in the 20s and fall into the teens. Tomorrow, teens, 20s. And look at how cold it is on Friday in the morning. Um, Maybe in into the single digits in the morning with teens in the afternoon. So it definitely turns colder. That rain snow line is going to be much lower. We're going to have higher ratios 
and better snow quality out of all of this. In Colorado, this is Irwin. This is near Crested Butte, outside of Crested Butte, one of the snowiest spots in all of Colorado. This is the time height forecast, so I'm looking for green. I'm looking for humidity, higher levels of humidity here. Um, this is this is a vertical slice. You're looking down at a vertical slice in all of the atmosphere vertically. Um, and your time lens at the bottom, you read that from right to left. The bottom line is you've got moisture increasing today, tonight, early tomorrow morning. Then it dries out. And then the the larger storm system with that rich feed comes in afternoon of the 26th, continues through the 27th, 28th, 29th. So that's going to be the key time frame. That's when we're going to see a lot more moisture and better lift. In fact, in Irwin, this particular model cranks out at least 16 inches through midday on the 28th. And again, there's going to be snow through the rest of the 28th and into the 29th, so likely to end up in the 20 to 24 inch category, somewhere in there, maybe more at Irwin. Um, and I'll show you my numbers and what I'm thinking for snow mass and uh, Crested Butte as well coming up. Okay, let me show you my numbers. So this is all of Christmas Day through New Year's Day of 2025. We'll start in the, in the Sierra, 6 to 12 through Mammoth and Tahoe, potentially a couple of feet on Shasta. And now Mount Ashland is interesting because some of that's going to fall as rain. So I was, you know, trying to figure out the split on that one. We'll end up at about 20 potentially. But then you go up to Bachelor and Timberline at higher elevations. It could be five feet, could be six feet of snow up there. And look at the Pacific Northwest, Baker, Crystal, Rainier, Stevens, and Whistler, anywhere from three to four feet of uh, snow accumulation, and even 50 right on top of Baker. Um, Interior BC does well with anywhere from one to two feet of accumulation, uh, from Fernie to Red Mountain to Kicking Horse to Revelstoke, and less as you drop down into Banff. Um, about three there at Sunshine, that might be a little bit optimistic, but I think we'll see some overrun in Marmot Basin, maybe a little bit more in overrun. Idaho's in great shape. Um, a couple of feet there through a lot of Idaho. Um, and now one of the big bullseyes is going to be the Tetons. I've got 40 inches on the board for Jackson Hole, so easily three feet. Um, Grand Targhee looking at about 30, uh, about 20 up there in big sky, so um, really good skiing. Potentially, you know, like 16 up there and Whitefish and Discovery. Now, in the Wasatch, these numbers have trended down just slightly, but I think we could we could see anywhere from two to three feet of accumulation in the Wasatch as far as a grand total by 1-1. One, one. In Colorado, it's all about the central and northern mountains with anywhere from one to two feet of accumulation. The biggest number is up in Steamboat with potentially 30 to 32 inches of accumulation out of that west-northwest flow pattern. Less as you go into southern Colorado, now looking at one to two inches through northern New Mexico. Okay, let me take it to the northeast, and again, the bulk of the accumulation uh, is going to be in rainfall, 1229, 1230. There might be some snow on 1-1, one, one, and that's where I get these totals uh, of about an inch. So the big problem is going to be warm air in the northeast, 1225 through 1-1. One, one. All right, we're going to end on the west map here, all of today through the first of the new year. And guys, this is going to be a great period. Enjoy it. Enjoy all the new powder out there. And you can see where the bullseyes are through 1-1. Have a great Christmas, guys. Take care.